Okay, here we go. We got this set up for a demonstration. Uh, I've got this set up as extension 100, and this one is as extension 103, maybe. And Doug, <coughs> and I've got some of these bro buttons programmed already and set up for a demonstration. Whenever you get your system, it's going to be personalized, customized. You're going to get uh, the labels already uh, printed out, so you can go ahead and just um, punch these out and, and put them in. Um, I'm going to leave them in the sheet so that if you want to make changes to them, you still can. But I'll we'll go right in here. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you real quick is the, this is extension 100. It's aiming. And you'll notice that this light is blinking. What that indicates to you, along with the blue flashing light, is that you've got a voicemail message. It's flashing as opposed to going a solid red whenever you go off hook. That'll let anyone else know who's walking by that you're on a call. Um, but whenever you want to retrieve a voicemail message, it's as simple as hitting a button. Now if I want to read out, I can just hit this, 7 bleeds it. It'll stop blinking, it'll go off, and then it'll go back into cradle essentially. And you can continue on after um, doing whatever it is you're going to do. Now to uh, take a call, I'm going to simulate an incoming call. It'll show you the caller ID information. To retrieve it, you just pick up the handset. You've got the call, you've answered it. Or you can hit, you can simply hit speaker and you're on the call as well, doing it that way. And if I hit, leave it on speaker and put it in cradle, I'm still continuing, continuing on with the conversation. Now, if I want to transfer this call after I've answered it and addressed who it is that they're looking for, I can simply, by the touch of one button, transfer that call to who I, whoever it is I want to. As long as I've got their button programmed on my uh, buttons, I can also just simply tr do a transfer and then type in the extension. But I know that I've got this button here programmed for Doug. So I can go ahead and transfer this call to Doug. I'm going to put, what this button does by putting this call on hold, uh, uh, pushing this button, it actually puts the call on hold. It allows me to talk to Doug, which it, on Doug's phone it appears as Amy, so I can go ahead and answer that call. I can say, yeah, I can take this call, or no, I'm unavailable. Please transfer it to my, to my voicemail. But me as Amy, as, as long as I hang up. Now, Doug has the call that was just taken by Amy. The caller heard hold music while they were waiting for this call to actually be transferred. Now, let's just say I took another call. I want to transfer this call back to Amy. I've put that, that call back on hold. You'll be able to hear. I'll show you the, what you hear uh, here in just a second. But now let's just say Amy is unavailable. Can't take the call. What Doug will then do is hit the flash button. It'll bring him bring back to the call, as you can see in the caller ID information. And then to transfer the call, it's just a matter of hitting voicemail and then Amy's extension. You can hear the greeting. Okay, and if I hang up. Now it's got the call. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you, this is a really cool thing, is let's say I'm going to, I'm going to simulate a call. Um, I'm Doug, I'm on a call. Now, <coughs> one of the things I'm going to show you is what's called a virtual answer. Uh, you can see that I'm on the call here, and let's say another call comes in. I'm going to be able to see who's calling by the caller ID information on the display, but I'm not able to take this call. So I'm going to hit my virtual answer button. I'm going to do it soon enough. I'll try that again. So if I can see me like that call. I'm going to hit the do not disturb button instead of speaker. Okay. I get the call. I'm talking front row. Amy's going to be calling me now. So now I'm going to hit virtual answer. Hi, this is Doug. I'm currently on another line, but I'd really like to speak with you. Please hold and I'll be with you shortly. If you can't stand, hold. Press 1 to leave a message in my voicemail box. This is what I'll hear while I'm on hold, waiting for Doug to finish that first call. So then as soon as he is done, the call will come through. It eliminates, hey, hold on one second, hit the flash button, answering the second call, going back to the first, doing all that phone tag crap. Just allows you to let the second caller know that you're there and addressing them. So now let's say I hang up. Now I have that second call that's for me. And I can go ahead and answer it. It's a real neat, neat, neat feature. And these greetings buttons can be whatever you want them to be. Just as simple of, as, as hitting the button, hitting record. This is my in greeting. Hi, this is Doug, and I'm sorry I missed the call. I'm in your office today, so please take your name, number, and message after the phone, and I'll get back to you for the call. How greeting. Get the handle in the cradle a little bit better. Can, then you can hear it. Sometimes whenever it's upright like that, the cradle just doesn't quite seem to want to cooperate. 
Let me just, let me just flip this over so that I know that I've got the handset uh, on hook. Just let me adjust this, you can see. So now, I got my second green. Hi, this is Doug. I appreciate the fact that you called. I stepped out for lunch and I will be back about 1.30. If you need to speak to me immediately, dial 4 now, call my cell phone. Otherwise, leave a message after the phone. Thank you. And with the right programming, you can uh, then allow the system to make that call. If I'm, uh, I'm calling, generate you, I hit form a keypad. The system will automatically generate a call to you so that whenever you are in the field in, on your cell phone, um, the system directs you to enter, enter a digit on your keypad so that the system knows it didn't reach your cell phone's voicemail to then complete the call versus bringing the call back to here and leaving the message here. So let's say I got a message here. A number of things I can do, redial, without even looking at the number. The number is in there, and it'll automatically dial that message from, from the message. Just some neat stuff. Monitor is one, one other button. If this is a monitor button. It's on or off. Please enter your password. You can enable it through a password or not. This password is 2345. Now it's on. So now if Amy is calling me. Let's think I'm on the phone or something. Let's try it again. So with monitor mode, with that light lit, you can now see Amy's calling me. I'm not sure why she's calling me. Could be to bug me. Could be that she has stealer tickets. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for her to actually start leaving me a message before I go ahead and answer. I'll know that she's hearing the greeting because my ringer has diminished as soon as the greeting is complete. Hey Doug, we got sealer tickets. Go ahead and pick up. So then I can pick up and actually complete the call versus the message being going into my voicemail box. Those are some real neat things. A bunch of other stuff. You got your do not disturb. You've got your hard program keys. Any one of these keys can be programmed to be whatever they want. You can uh, program this button to be a speed dial. And then hit the button again. And now it's a speed dial key. So that now that I can just make this, make a call, and it's going to call me directly. I'll show you one more thing. If any call comes in, it's going to share the caller ID information. It's going to go ahead and answer it. If I want to store that particular caller ID information in my personal Rolodex, this easy desk button will automatically store that caller ID information. Make it available next time I go ahead and hit this button. And scroll, and it'll take me through a number of different numbers that I have stored, and then I can go ahead and redial. We call it this new stuff. Um, a lot of different features. If you've got something particular you like, I'm going to uh, show you one more just for the heck of it. If I want to um, keep track of my boss's voicemail, just to make myself a little bit more handy, I can do that. I can monitor someone's messages by programming a key for their voicemail box. In other words, if I wanted to make this button, let me make this one a three. Now this is monitoring the messages of Doug. So if I hit this, it's going to show me Doug's messages. And I can delete them and they're going to come off here. Doug is not going to have any more messages. I mean, having done that, I can check his messages for him as an assistant. So those are just some real cool things about this phone system. A bunch of other stuff I might go into more detail in another demonstration, but those are some real things that you can do with your phone system. It's really easy to install, very user-friendly. Help button. Help button. There we go. I didn't fix that with Cradle. Good morning. For help, press zero. To program your personal greeting, press one. To program the programmable...